Have you ever felt like there is something missing in your journey as a man on this planet? As if there is a deeper version of yourself waiting to be discovered, but you just don't know how to access it. For years, I felt the same way until I stumbled upon a men's retreat, which really helped tap me into a deeper sense of who I am and start to move me closer towards my full potential. I'm Stu Murray, and in today's video, I want to talk about the transformative power of men's retreats, particularly how it's impacted me, how it's allowed me to clarify the challenges in my life, to break through barriers, to connect with like-minded men, and move forward with a stronger, more empowered perspective on what it means to be a man. If you're curious about how a men's retreat might impact you, or want to take that next step on your personal growth journey, stick around. This video might be exactly what you need. Growing up, I've been in all kinds of different male-dominated environments, and some of the ones that come top of mind are in sports. And within those kind of spaces, there was really no place for vulnerability or showing emotion or expressing emotion to others. It just wasn't a place where that was accepted or tolerated. And if you did, often you would be shamed or made fun of. And that was largely my experience relating emotionally with men. So I never really actually spent that much time investing in connecting deeply at an emotional level with men. And when I did, I learned to share details of my experience, but not the depth of how things were impacting me. I always felt safer sharing more of my deeper struggles with women. And it was only when I actually discovered a men's retreat when I was traveling in Central America that that began to change. When I had first heard about this men's retreat, I had no idea what the hell it was. And it took me actually meeting the man that was facilitating it and trusting him as an individual for me to feel confident and safe to actually step into an all-male space for a weekend. When I did enter the weekend, I was totally blown away at the kind of activities that we were doing and the conversations that we were having. I honestly didn't expect that kind of depth to emerge from people I had just met. And within a day, we already started to go at a deeper level of depth of the challenges we're facing in our lives, the things that we're avoiding in our lives, telling another man the thing that I don't want him to know about me. These were all things that I was totally unfamiliar with prior to entering into the retreat. And within a day, this man that was standing across from me already knew more about me than people I'd spent decades with. And this was a shocking revelation. The degree of depth and intimacy that I could receive with another man within such a short period of time. As I opened up and shared more about my vulnerabilities, I was met with somebody who could see me, somebody who could hold space for the parts of me that I didn't even love myself. And as I shared my struggles, it was amazing looking around the circle and seeing how many men were raising their hands in agreement or nodding, saying, yeah, me too. I'm experiencing that too. And as I listened to other men share their experiences, I was touched and deeply impacted about how much what they were sharing was resonating. Despite the story of their experience being different, the underlying experience, the underlying emotion that they were feeling was so similar. And it totally blew me away because up until that point, much of what I struggled with, I thought I was struggling with alone. And I thought it was just me or that there was something wrong with me. And just in hearing another man share where he's struggling or being heard by another man as I share my struggles and him not flinch, not waver and see me fully and say, yeah, me too. That just changed everything for me. Within an instant, I could feel all of this weight, all of this pressure, all of this shame just start to melt away. This first retreat and all of the retreats I've both participated in and have led since that time have profoundly impacted my understanding of what it means to be a man. Because for so long in my life, I had internalized 
the dangerous rule of men that if you're struggling, don't talk about it. I thought that I had to have all of my challenges dealt with on my own. And if I couldn't deal with my own problems, there was something wrong with me. I wasn't used to being able to ask for help or share the depth of what's going on. Again, I was really good at sharing details in my life. I could give a sense of vulnerability about how things were happening in my life, but rarely could I take a situation in my life and distill the essence and within a couple minutes share what's happening and really how it's impacting me, how it's impacting my life and how it's stopping me from leading that life that I genuinely desire to live. One of the biggest takeaways that I've learned so far is that there is no roadmap on what it means to be a man today. And we've lost touch with rites of passages and initiations and direct mentorship from elders within our society. And we're largely a culture that has a lack of a vision on who we are and where we're going. And without that, it's inevitable that we're going to feel a sense of isolation, a sense of aimlessness, a sense of overwhelm, a sense of general unfulfillment with where we are in life. And I think it's critical that we create spaces where we can come together as men, as women, as a collective to explore what that means. And for me as a man, it's become critical that I gather with other men and have conversations about how I'm being deeply impacted in my life and where I'm struggling and what I'm avoiding in my life and working to reimagine and redefine what it means to be a man today, what it means to show up and embrace both my masculine essence and my feminine qualities as well, to be able to feel the depth of everything that's alive in me and to be able to hold space, an unwavering space for all of it to emerge. This is incredibly challenging and it's not something I can do alone. So when I come together with men, I tap into a power that's far greater than me. And I tap into a sense of deeper responsibility, a deeper accountability that I start to remember who I am and why I'm here. Because when I fall, flat on my face, as I inevitably do, as the flawed and fallible man that I am. I need other individuals in my life who can reflect back who I am and why I'm here. And that clear reflection, that mirroring that I can receive back is this anchoring of who I am. It's such an empowering gift to be able to get that reflection back of, yeah, you might be struggling, you might be wounded, you might think you're fucked up, but you are not alone and you don't have to face your problems alone. You can come together in community to receive the tools, the guidance, and the mentorship that you need to lead your life in the direction that you actually desire. Since attending men's retreats and starting to facilitate them, I now have a network of men that I value that I'm inspired by, that I trust, that I love deeply, who I can call at any point and ask for help, ask for guidance, ask for feedback. Anytime that I'm starting to feel alone or overwhelmed or isolated, I have a man in my corner that I can reach out to, that I can share the thing that I'm struggling with, the thing that I'm ashamed of, the thing that I'm afraid of saying. And I know at the deepest level of my being that I'm going to be met with unwavering support. And having that in my corner is just one of the greatest gifts that I could ask for. And it has sharpened and refined my ability to lead my life in that direction that I desire. It's helped me clarify where I'm falling short in my life. It's helped me build a sense of resilience and deepen into that responsibility, that radical ownership that I need to tap into as a man to really fully embody who I want to be. I know now at the deepest level of my being that I am not alone and I don't have to face my demons alone. And I can ask for help. A strong man asks for help. And that is 
such a radical shift in my life that I'm beyond grateful for. With all of that said, leaning into this work is far from easy. It's fucking hard. It's confrontational. It's vulnerable. It's terrifying. Because I have to be radically honest and take radical ownership of what's happening within me. I have to face my fears, face my shame head on. To tell another man what I'm struggling with in my life or what I'm avoiding in my life or something I don't want him to know about me and have real honest conversations about how my challenges are impacting me in my life is not something that's easy, but it's worth it. Because without this, there's so many blind spots that I would be neglecting and ultimately living a more miserable and unfulfilled life. If you're listening to this and resonating with some of the impact that these retreats have had on me, but also questioning what the hell am I going to do for a weekend with all of these men, that sounds insane. And you've had terrible experiences being vulnerable with men in your life. You're not alone. And I encourage you to do some more research or reach out to me, contact me, and I'll reach out to you directly and share more about my experiences and how this has impacted me. Because it's critical that in this age of confusion about what it means to be a man, I think it's so important that we reimagine and redefine what manhood can be. And that involves us coming together and having the hard conversations and leaning in with vulnerability into the places of discomfort, the places of shame, the places of fear. And through that, we can create a deeper vision, a clearer vision on what it means to be a man and how we want to show up for ourselves. And through the hard conversations, through facing our shame head on, through facing our challenges head on, I can start to clarify for myself what it means to be a man and for you to do the same. Because this is not a one size fits all. There is no ideal definition of what it means to be a man, but it is critical that we ask ourselves, how do I want to show up as a man? How do I want to provide for myself, for my family, for my community? What do I want that to look and feel like? That question is critical to reflect on. And men's retreats are such an incredible space for us to do that work together. My invitation to you is to feel into everything that this video may have stirred up, any kind of hesitation, any challenges, and feel into that. Feel your resistance to opening up with other men. And do some research. Check out any kind of men's circles or men's retreats that are happening in your area. And if you're just feeling lost and overwhelmed, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to share more about my own personal experiences. If you've enjoyed this video and you think there's a man in your life who might benefit from attending a men's retreat, please share this with them. The more men that we can have stepping into their own power and their own radical sense of responsibility, the greater the benefit it will be for the whole. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Stu Murray signing off and we'll see you next week.